In this video, I'm going to give you some diagnostics to hopefully help you fix your furnace. Furnaces are designed with lots of safeties to prevent fatal and tragic accidents. If any of these uh, featured safeties fail, the furnace should stop working altogether. Unfortunately, this can leave you in the cold, which is why you're probably watching this video, so let's get to it. Now, behind the cover of your furnace are all the switches, boards, and parts that you'll likely need to check. There's likely a wheel-shaped spinning thing, and I'm using layman's terms here. That connects to a vacuum switch that turns on and tells the furnace that there is adequate ventilation, blowing away all the toxic gases like carbon monoxide. If that doesn't spin when the furnace is initiated, you may have a, a ventilation failure. If it spins and nothing happens beyond that, you may have a failed igniter. If the fan kicks on, and the igniter kicks on, you'll know the igniter will turn on if it glows bright. Um, this is assuming you don't have a furnace with a pilot. A pilot lit furnace has a continual flame, whereas the glow plug furnace or the ignition uh, igniter is an electronic uh, plug that will glow very hot. Um, so if it ignites, but only stays on for a short time, you may have a failed flame sensor. And the flame sensor is a little metal rod that sits right in front of the flames. And it tells the furnace that yes, there is a flame, we are burning gas. Um, obviously, if it's not burning the gas and filling your house with gas, you're gonna have a lot bigger problems than just being cold. Now you can turn the furnace off and remove it, uh, sand off all the corrosion and reinstall it because that corrosion acts as an insulator. That may be the solution. If that doesn't work, there's usually a window on the lower door of your furnace. There's the main door and then there's another panel. That panel has a little window and through that window you should be able to see a light, a little LED. Assuming it's lit up, if you have power in the house, obviously if you don't have power in the house, well that's probably the problem. But if you do have power in the house and that little LED is flashing, that flashing will indicate an error code. And that the number of flashes equates to a number, the error code. And it's usually uh, long flashes and short flashes. These error codes vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. So if you can't find the service manual, hopefully you can find it up and look it up online. That error code will tell you the problem. But hopefully something in this video was helpful. If it was, you can let me know by liking this video. And let me know in the comments below if you have anything to add. There's lots of other videos on furnace repair on YouTube, so hopefully you can find a solution and get back to being warm. In the meantime, remember, layer clothing and the old adage that cotton kills. Cotton is not a good insulator at all, so if you're really freezing, cotton's not going to really help you out. Good luck and thanks for watching.